The news on BBC One shortly will be followed in ten minutes by an animated Dr Seuss cartoon, The Grinch, Grinch is the Cat in the Hat, and after which, at 5.40, you may well agree with the title of BBC One's film, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. On BBC Two, a new season of comedy as Tracy Ullman and Rick Mayle star in a new series of A Kick Up the Eighties. Robin, come away. I've told you a million times before. Don't get involved. Let's go over to Russell Grant to see what the stars have in store for today. Many, many thanks to the Legions who rushed out and bought my new album. Thank you very much, Mr. and Mrs. Legion of Croydon. Remember the last time we heard that tune? Paris. Thank you, love. We'll let you know. <laughs> I'd like to talk about shark fishing. <laughs> but I don't know the first thing about it. <laughs> the quick fire humour of a kick up the 80s starts a new series tomorrow at night on BBC Two. <laughs> And now, on BBC Two, we journey to Stoke for more news and coverage of the World Professional Darts Championship. Is it any wonder that Eric Bristow is the favourite to win this World Championship, having played in three of the last four finals and having won the title twice, and Jolly's is virtually his home venue? So what a comparison then with Bristow's opponent this afternoon as we begin the second round of this Embassy World Professional Championship. The American Rick Ney, a man a long, long way from home, taking on the world's number one in his first appearance in the championship. Also this afternoon, an all-Welsh confrontation between Peter Locke and Malcolm Davies that was a real nail-biter. But it was Bristow, the favourite, who began the second round and who quickly established a two-sets-to-love lead over the American Rick Ney, who scored well but who couldn't hit the crucial doubles. It's about to begin in the third set as we join Tony Green. Gentlemen, firstly, third set, Rick to throw first. Game on. I think you've got to give credit to this Rick now. He's Thank put up you. a good performance. Certainly uh, a good find as far as America's concerned. 121. But you can't give this man two set lead. <laughs> 140. <laughs> Down, watch his eye line. And 97. I'm just reflecting on Bristol's mind when he was beaten by another American, Conrad Daniels, in the first round. 140. There he goes again on the 19. 54. Once again, advantage swings to Bristow. Two of them. He's coming down below. 137. 84. It's a better out shot for Bristow. 78. With two 140s. 84. A 137. Left himself with 84. 64 left. Single 16. 52. 
Right. Really gone 14 and ball there. 51. Ikusne on an out shot. Treble 17 for double top. Double top. Oh, wow. I'm lucky. Yes, time to smile for Bristow. Remember what uh, 32. Keith Deller did in the final on that 1-3-8 uh, finish. But it's still double 16, first leg. That's the one. Yes, that's the first leg for Eric Bristow. Could have gone for 14 and ball when he was on 64. Second leg, Eric to that tells throw all, first. It? Game on. Fifty-five. He must be wondering to himself, what have we got to do? Just sink the doubles. He's had the chances. One hundred and eighteen. This switch is quite a lot and has uh, been a bit successful on those trouble nineteens. Yeah, a bit of a throat shot there. Still even. Seventy-eight. And he needed that last trouble. Sixty. Two encouraging shouts from the crowd for Rick Nay. to a 1-2-2 two, two finish. It's there again. 119! That is pressure on the Ricky. 122. 18 would be the shot. Wants a treble now for the ball. Trouble 20 for double top. 82. Oh. Eric, you require 38. Could be six, double 16. Double 16 for a two leg advantage. Yes! There it is. A little bit of arrogance. Finger in the air. Two sets to nil. Now two legs to nil in this third set. Third leg, Rick to throw first. <laughs> There's the rings, the ring of confidence. One hundred and forty. Well, you've got to be fair to this now. He's uh, kept it in the scoring power of Bristow. Porters leading this leg to save the set. Rick Nay. It's awkward. 100. 80 points in front plus these. Two 140s. 
a ton, leaving him 1-2-1. One, one. Into the top, it doesn't Breaking count. Require 121. Hundred and one, travel seventeen would leave the ball. Well, he's got ball left. And he went for it at the twenty-five. And it's Bristol's turn to look at a big score left. One hundred and forty. Once again he's putting pressure on this finish of Ritmer at twenty-five. 25. Likes double ten, but it may be going seventeen. Double four, good thinking. He's done it. Yes, that's the third leg. Rick Knight. Makes it 2 1. Saves the third set. Fourth leg, Eric to throw first. Game on. But now, with the advantage of throwing first, looking to take the third set. Two of them. One hundred and forty. Maintain that accuracy on that treble twenty nine. One hundred. Sixty points behind Bristow. One hundred. And this is where he puts the screws in. One hundred and forty. Eighty-one left. One hundred. What a fighter that man is now. Eric Require, eighty-one. Well, he'll go on the 19s, treble 19, double 12, maybe. Will he go for a bull shot? No, it's not the bull, he wants double 59. 13. That was in treble 12. Double 13 was the shot. Ring, you require 101. Eight, 81 left. 62 he needs. Treble 10, I'd leave double 16. What well, is it, the treble 15? 84. Will he go for double 13, Bristol? Eric, you require 26. Or will he try to go for 10, double 8? We'll see. It's for the set. Yes, it's 10. It's for double 8. And it yes! is the set. That's the third set. Eric Bristol. Feels more confident on double 16s and double 8. And that is confidence there. 3-0 to Bristol. Getting the crowd going now. And it was comfortable enough for Bristow, a winner by four sets to love. He hasn't yet dropped a set in the championship. But how well does the favourite himself feel that he's playing? You're playing. I played well against Finn Jens in the first round. Obviously, that's the, um, the hard one, because it's only three sets. Like all, all the professional dart players would, would prefer it to be five sets. But um, once you get through it, you don't mind it. But uh, this round I played against Rick Nay. He's a good player. He plays well in America. And... Um, I'm just glad to get him out of the way. Now I've got the winner of Malcolm Davis and Peter Locke. Which in my books, I think it'd be Peter Locke, but you're never sure because the two Welshmen don't know each other and maybe there's a bit of friendship there and that shouldn't be when you're playing in a, in a competition, really. You've got, to, you've got to hate them just for that game. 
But what about Rick Ney? I mean, you've seen him off there in fairly quick time, but in fairness, if he'd hit the doubles a bit earlier, it might have been a different story. He played well. One leg, um, I didn't go for me double. I played a safety shot like I did last year in the final when Keith went out and won 3-8. And he won 1-5-1, one, one. he went 60-50, one of our... Here we go. <laughs> yeah, and he, and he was right on the wire at tops. I'm just glad to get him out of the way, really. We had Jockey Wilson in the studio yesterday, and without developing too much the uh, thread of animosity that seems to linger between the two of you, he was saying how well he was playing and that he thought he was the man for the championship. What's your reply to that? Well, obviously, Jockey's like myself. That first round was the hard round. And once he beat Terry O'Day, he was over the moon. And he beat him well, didn't he? Terry didn't really put up a good fight. And... Uh, now it's seven sets. He's going to take some stopping. On paper, it should be should be myself and Jockey in the final. But um, I've said that before, and I've been sitting watching the final, and most likely Jockey has as well. And he's a good player. Um, I didn't like what Sid Waddell said the other night. He said that I was frightened of him. That well, that you were frightened of Jockey Wilson? Yeah, because uh, over the last 20 months, I've played Jockey in seven tournaments, and I've beaten him in six. So how the hell can I be frightened of Jockey Wilson? And... If I play him in the final, I'll do him, and I'll do him well. Tip yourself to win them? Yeah, well, I'm not here to just have a laugh and a, a joke. I'm here to win it, you know what I mean? It's my living. I, I enjoy playing darts. I love it. But in the end, it's only a game, and we're all lucky people. We all play darts. We throw three darts in the board, and we earn good money, and that's the way it should be, a game. Not the, all this animosity and people saying they're going to do everybody else. Let's get on and play darts. Just create a bit of interest, though, doesn't it? Well, I, sp <laughs> I suppose it does, really. Yeah. Uh, obviously, when if I play jockey, there will be a lot of animosity, you know, <laughs> because me and jockey we talk beforehand, but um, when we play each other, we're we're the enemy. You know what I mean, I'm his enemy, he's my enemy, and we hate each other on that stage because he wants to beat me and I want to beat him. And I suppose, really, for the embassy people, uh, the good sponsors that sponsor this, that's the final they want to see. And indeed, that would be, of course, an England-Scotland final, and we might look forward to that. Only one Welshman, Leighton Rees, has ever won the World Championship, and that was back in 1978. Three Welsh players are through to the second round this year, but now two of them have to battle to eliminate each other, and what a marvellous, marvellous game of darts it turns out to be. Peter Locke and Malcolm Davies, Welsh colleagues, scrapping for a place in the quarterfinals and really bringing the crowd here at Jollies this afternoon onto their feet. Davies won the first set, but there's a little flavour of what's to come. This was his finish at the end of the third leg. Mark Emery Kwan, 161. Travel 17. Leaves the ball for a 161 out shot. Yeah! Shot the Absolute leg. magic! And that 161 equaling the highest out in the championship so far, and there's much, much more to come. Just settle back now and enjoy this match as we join it with Davis, as I said, one set ahead, but Locke leading two legs to one in the second set, and our commentator, Sid Waddell. His mates have an expression for when he's playing well, a college shake in the bush. He's shaking now. He won. Forty-five. Forty-six. Davies has to take this leg, or else Locke takes the set. Eighty-five. certainly raised this game in the last few minutes. 100. 60. Malcolm, you require 148. 
There's a three tonner there. Yeah. Sixty. Peter, you require 129. <clears throat> Could take this set, yeah. Sixty. Yeah, he wants full. is lucky. Third set, first leg. Peter, to throw first. So Locke takes the set in style. It's one apiece. current now the world championship some of these lads never been in an atmosphere like this before and these two doing Wales proud with the standard of their darts 60 in his pitch on the 60. Brilliant, that lad. 139. 41. Mark him in the corner, 62. I think he's taking a shot at treble 10. He wants 20. Other way, he wants tops. 42. Peter, you require 137. Just on a 129. Markham will require 20. To take the advantage, double 10. Game shot and the first leg. Markham Lewis. Given no quarter to each other, these two. Second leg, Markham. Throw first. And that was an example of uh, Davies here coming from behind. Taken a set that locked through first in a leg, rather. 100. Eighteen. One hundred and five. Peter, you require one hundred and forty-one. Needed the sixty there. Ninety-two. Mark them. You require thirty-six. Double eighteen. 
Constable Nine. Twenty-seven. Eight hundred and forty-nine. Double sixteen. Seventeen. Both just on the wire. Markham Uniquan nine. To make it two nil. One for double fours, the usual shot. Yeah, double four. Game shot and the second leg. To Martha Davis. Peter Lock, let him in there. Still as a smile. Third leg, Peter. Lopez. One hundred. Sixty. Even though some people in this large crowd haven't been to a major dance before, people just come in for a look. They still observe the protocol. Dead silence during 60. the throw. And appreciate as the player pulls the dots. One hundred and forty. Sixty. One hundred. Lock fighting to save the set. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Peter, you one hundred and forty-one. There's a three dot there. Awkward lie that was. How can we require one hundred and one? Brilliant shot. He goes for the double now. Double 16. Game shot. And He's so player, this lad it. from Splot in Cardiff. <laughs> Davies takes it to two sets to one in his favour. Four set, first leg, Malcolm. So first. Say more, please. Thank you. Twenty-six. One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred. Well, I bet the Welsh selectors are glad to see these two showing this kind of 85. form. Manuel, it is the best of seven sets. First man to get four sets is the winner. This lad is leading by two sets. 140. Double fourteen. Seventy-seven. Mark in the corner forty-five. Thirteen for double sixteen. Game shot and the first leg. To Mark and Davis. Davis further ahead then. Second leg, Peter. To throw first. Oh, 
Peter is checking the order of throw. No, you were throwing first. Jack, you're laying the low down. 40. One hundred. Twenty-one. 